I don't have time to do things to be healthy. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. Well, we are here to share techniques, thoughts, and tools, and tips that we all need. We all deserve you, I, everyone, so we can turn our house into home, our families thrive, and we live the best life possible. And it's what Yenna Decker and, and I'm Ken Decker do every week on Life's Inside Track. And so my question for you is if you don't have time to do things to be healthy, mm -hmm. which I can appreciate takes time, how will you have time to be sick because you didn't stay healthy? Well, that's kind of true. It is, isn't it? So on this episode, what are they going to learn? That it takes just as much time to make a healthy choice as it does to make a poor choice, or as we say, it a life step versus a death step most often. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the, you know, the packaged food is just so easy. And it doesn't take a whole lot longer to grab an apple out of the fridge or a bunch of grapes. So. I guess so. Those things take time to eat. Oh my! You goodness. can hoover a chocolate bar in 30 seconds, but right. you can't eat an apple that quick. Right. And so what's your point? I don't really have one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so really what we want to chat about is how people, not only ourselves, but friends of ours, one in particular, a client that we worked with at Double Decker Life, actually shifted. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Double Decker Life? What's that? Oh, you know. Why I know. Don't you but explain. Double Decker Life is our new website. And it's not new there, anymore. Well, it's fairly recent. And on <laughs> there are great videos and programs to help with your life. It's not a real estate website. It's a life website. And it's doubledecker.life. Exactly. And so one of the, the programs that's on there is a 31 life step journey. So 31, and it doesn't have to be days, because I think for a lot of people that have been through the course and through the program, the journey, it's really a journey, have decided to take a week maybe to do one step rather than do a step every single day, because you don't want to get like thrown off. You're better to create a consistent uh, pattern that will serve you in the long run. And that's really it around but, food and But couldn't health. you binge watch our videos just like you do on a Netflix series? Well, some people do binge watch them. <laughs> but when you binge watch them, the missing element is probably the life step, the yeah. implementation, the action, the thing that's actually going to move you forward. Because you know what? There's really not a ton of new stuff in the videos. Really? Not a lot, probably. Oh, come on. Eh, a little bit, maybe, but no, it's less about new information because I bet you already oh, know. So it's about new action. Because mm, I bet you already know, and I know you know, you didn't just learn that an apple was better than a chocolate bar, even if you could consume <laughs> it quicker. And yet, it wasn't like you learned the thing and then chose to mm. eat the apple consistently. Yeah, so what was interesting is while we were in production of that 31 Life Step journey, the videographer who we hired to do that, he, from the stuff we were talking about and conversations we were having even off-site, he discovered that he was making choices that were actually death steps as opposed to life steps in the food that he was eating. Yeah. and. To him, it was like, ooh, this is the temple of God. My body's the temple of God. So if I'm putting death in it, what am I saying to God? Like that my body's not important. And that decision for him stopped eating chips and pop and french fries and burgers and whatever. It stopped all of it instantly. Yeah, and, and it really came down for him when we were in a coaching session with him after we'd done the recordings or some of the recordings and we were having a conversation. He goes, you know, it 
my motive, because I kept saying, what's your motivation? Like, if you don't have the right motivation for changing your habit, Mm. you're not going to make the change. And so as we explored, I said, well, what about your wife? Because she had gained a lot of weight as well. And so we started like saying, isn't that your motivation? You want her to eat well. You want her to live longer. You want to live longer. And she goes, he goes, nah, none of that matters. I was like, huh, I think it would to me. So I was thinking that would be great motivation. So sometimes the motivation that serves one person won't serve another person. So it was in the conversation just exploring what was a motive or was there a motive that would actually connect to this Mm. particular person that would shift from making consistent, and I'm not saying he ate chocolate bars all day, every day, and yet there was a lot of death step eating, things that were taking him closer to death rather than closer to life. Yeah, and the the interesting thing is what he realized was he was hounding a friend who was a smoker. Right. And he said, what are you doing with those death sticks? Every time you light one up, you're getting closer to death. And then he realized it was a death step he was taking when Mm -hmm. he put the wrong food in his mouth. It was just as bad a habit as smoking. Right. And he took it one step further. When the penny dropped significantly, he said, I'm actually paying homage to the dark side Mm -hmm. rather than the light side when I'm making these choices that aren't serving me or my body. And it was in an instant that he shifted his behavior and has never gone back. And And that was over a year ago. And what's interesting is I attempted to take on the same kind of thought pattern, right? Like, is is what I'm putting in my mouth going to add life to my body or add death to my body? Is it slightly a poison to my body or is this good healing food, fuel for my body? Right. And I'm better, and yet I'm not, I'm not 100%. Not right. even close. No, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so, <honey. laughs> you're welcome. I thought I would just yeah. echo that and, you know the truth. And so we're talking about time to be healthy, time right. to be sick, right? How much time do you have? Mm-hmm. And the realization is we all have 1,440 1, minutes, minutes. That's a, right. day. a day. Some mm-hmm. of those are used sleeping for your body to about recover. About 450-ish. Is mm-hmm. what I calculated for 450? us. Four hundred fifty, about four hundred fifty. So there's about a thousand, and it depends on exactly how much sleep you want. But approximately four twenty to four fifty, we sleep. So we have about a thousand minutes left every single day. And am I going to do things that give me health and well being mm-hmm. and wealth? Because the healthier I am, the wealthier I'll be. Like it's all kind of part of the same formula, right? Right. So when I look at you know, to warm up some craft dinner or something, which is not healthy, mm-hmm. that maybe takes 10 minutes. Right. Maybe it takes me 15 minutes to make a meal and, and a stir and, fry and, and some stir shrimp up a, or something. and cut up a, you know, a mm-hmm. salad, prep a salad. So it's an extra five minutes. But that's generally going to mean I'm not going to be as sick sometime. And those five minutes add up because when you, when you get a bad cold or flu or or some kind of sickness, it can take you out for days. Or weeks. Or weeks or months. Right. I haven't been sick in years. You're tough, though. Well, no, because I've had my <laughs> moment with it. And so I think it's a cumulative effect, right? So although mm. it does, will agree, take a little more time to eat healthy sometimes, not always, yep. it in the big picture, it actually serves us by giving us time back mm. because of our ability to be more efficient, think clear, function better, and stay healthy, wealthy, and wise. Right. So adding a little piece of life or a little piece of death, it's our choice mm-hmm. to make. We're grateful to be your partners on the journey of life, wealth, and wisdom. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.